Hello, hi, how are you today? So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about Twin Flame Ascension. Now, many people may have heard about Twin Flame Ascension. So you have this awareness. Here's the thing, Ascension never stops. Now you can pause a bit with it or you can be proactive with your own Ascension. And for Twin Flame people, there's two of you. So I'm gonna keep saying this because, hey, I'm Patricia, I'm a Twin Flame healer and I'm a teacher and I'm a guide to the 5D. So in this video, I want you to kind of sit back and learn a little bit through this video. I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the things that you may not be aware of. If you're aware of it, I wanna help you deepen that. And so let's get started right now. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about is Twin Flame Ascension and Beyond, okay? There are a series of progressive events that happen for you. Now, a lot of people think in terms of twin flame stages and they think they get through something and that they've completed one of those stages. However, here's the thing, it goes in cycles. So it's a little bit more like looking at a spiral or stair steps where you might hit the wall and then it's time to go up again. So what does the beyond mean? The beyond me actually means your new life, okay? Living as an ascended person who is still living here and is continuing to merge, integrate your new template. And so this has a lot to do with the templates. I'm a prototyper, which means that I find the way as a Blu-ray to help people integrate their brand new template and to get it up and running so that it's customized for your life, not my life. You know, it's like you were not just handing people a basic blueprint. You came here with that, but it has to be opened, expanded. You know, it's, it's like having a flat tent. You have to get the poles in place. You have to get things so that it becomes a structure that you can live in. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk to you about, there's a thing that has to happen. And believe me, this blew me away. But after teaching it for years, and I mean more than 10 years, the open channels, you have two sets. You have open channels that I would consider your inflow channels. And then you also have your exhaust channels. Now those are critical. Those are critical to your day in and day out success of actually living in the world, of being in the world and not of the world. You've heard that expression, right? So what that means is that you have a way to easily dissipate whatever your day has taken on. You start the day with sort of a clean slate every single day by doing the work of integration of your templates. That is actually the work. It's proactive. It's very physical. It includes physical symptoms. I'm well aware of all of the ascension, descension, and purging symptoms. So your open channels, this is no small thing. It is what makes your days live at a proper level. So when we talk about up-leveling, you've had the level you lived at down here. We might call that 3D. Then you go into another level. We might call that 4D. Then a lot of people are in sort of a limbo space. It's not really a limbo space. It's sort of the space between spaces. You could compare it to how you're living between your lives, between your incarnation, except it's here on earth. You're transitioning between one place and another. Many transits have already happened. What a lot of people will go into now is a void energy. And I'm gonna talk about that in a separate video. So in order to live at a proper level, this is a vibrational level. Your light body has to open, expand, and start toting you to that level where you live there. Okay, you're not up in it, you're actually suspended down into here. That's how this works. So if you're not getting the connections proper, if you're not merging properly, you actually may not even feel what it's supposed to feel like, but you will feel the opposite, which means you'll feel that something isn't working for you. Something doesn't feel right. You feel like you've dead-ended, like you've gone nowhere. You'll feel like somehow everything that you've been doing somehow isn't paying off. Now, some things can feel like well, maybe it was worth it to, to have that healing. Maybe it was worth it to learn about something. Okay, but this is going to really mean rolling up your sleeves and getting involved with your true integration of your new template. Okay, it's way beyond 
you know, repairing the bubble love phase and all of the things that seem to fall apart. That too is a part of the very first stage of your twin flame ascension. Okay, and it's only one part. There's many other parts. And unfortunately, there's a lot of moving parts to this. However, when you do my work, you do it the way I've outlined. You start to see the progression and you move through things very easily and in a way that makes sense because some of this will not make sense to the human mind. Hey, there's another thing along with your open channels and that means your ability to properly commune through your new template. Why is that? It's a whole new level. We're talking about 5D, 60, 70, 80, 90. And even for those people who say, well, I've gone to 33 dimensions. I know there's people out there. Oh, hoo -hoo, look at me. I can do 33 dimensions. It shuts down for them at some point. They can't achieve it with their old body. They can't do it without integration of their new merged connections with their true other half. It just doesn't happen. How you make progress is by clicking yourselves together. You don't lose your individuality in this. In fact, if anything, you're enhanced. Your personality is better. You're wittier. You're more intelligent. You're more balanced. Your masculine and feminine are so much more balanced. Your hormones start to balance. So there's a lot that happens. It requires daily communing, which I teach you. Learning how to properly commune. And now this is the word that many religions have taken to mean you know, something else. You're receiving a communion. Are you receiving bread? Well, the bread that you need to live on, that's actually a true communion with your own spirit and your own soul. And beyond that, with the divine. So yes, there's levels, but there's not a true hierarchy in terms of superiority. In fact, the higher you go, the simpler you feel that this truly is. And it does get simpler, easier, better. Why? Because it's like flexing. It's like flexing and making sure that you're doing your part to open, expand, you know, like do this with the parts of you that are designed for that. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is the levels of your new template will play out in cycles. Those cycles are important. And I want you to know something. Every cycle roughly in the 14, 15 years I've been doing this, it's going to be about three months. Now, that could be a season for many people. It could be like your entire spring was sent doing a cycle. The time that we're doing this in right now is preceding the change of a season, but it's also preceding uh, something that we commonly call the lion's gate energy, which for about 10 days gets really intense. Why is it intense? Because it's an influx of actual natural essence that belongs to you. You have to be able to pick it up, take it in, integrate, draw it within you, lift it up, open, expand it, and up level and keep moving. How do you do all that? Very easily through my work, through my modality that I've created to make this easy. Why? Because I'm a Blu-ray prototyper. So the levels of your new template will play out in cycles. Now, next thing I want to say is you are worth the template. Okay. A lot of people don't know about what is this template because they call it a template of new relationship or 5D relationship. It's a template that enables you from not only the new level, but from 5D and wherever as you progress, whatever higher levels that you're suspended down into here at to relate to everything here, to influence it with your love energies that flow through you, to bring your vibe not up from the ground, but down from above you, from a much higher place. And so that template cannot hold or accumulate. And this is important because most of the illness in the world is due to the accumulation of wounds, traumas, negative behaviors from other people, sometimes what you may have perpetrated yourself. But the bottom line is that your new template doesn't care about all that past stuff. That's why you're purging. That's why it's important to get it out. It has to get out. It has to make room for the love to come in. Whatever vacates you, whatever you vomit out, you purge out, that's enabling a space for this much higher inflow to come in. And that inflow is you. That's what's happening at the Lion's Gate for people. Not everyone is aware of that, but they will be feeling it because it's going to be intense. 
So it cannot, your new template, it can accumulate or hold ancestral patterns. This is why people talk about their inner child and their ancestry and their past lives. Why? Because it's got to get out, O-U-T, out of here. Everybody, please make your way to the exit. I've got to go, right? Clean up on aisle three because now you've got to go. Ancestral patterns, illness. Okay, does this mean you'll never catch cold? Well, you can catch cold, I can tell you that. What you won't do is probably die from that cold or worse or become some debilitating illness. Is that an excuse for being foolish about the safety of the part of you that has to anchor your new template and is actually holding the inner light body? No, you cannot afford to be foolish on this journey. You, I'm gonna say that one more time. You cannot afford to be foolish on this journey, period. I don't think so. That's the way I view it. I'm like, I want to do it right. I want to get it right. I want to do it as expediently as possible. I don't want to be foolish, okay? So disease, debilitating conditions. What are these debilitating conditions? Well, some of the ones that I've helped people ease themselves out of are things like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, uh, Hashimoto's, things like that that like really affect women right where they live that turn them into prisoners in their own homes and really there's not really good answers why because frankly a lot of it is the accumulation of the effects of the fourth dimension as you leave the fourth dimension there is a way to do it where you're divesting all those things from your body because your new template doesn't want to hold fatigue or the world weariness that has accumulated with people or the way it affects your body's tissues where you can't breathe or your heart feels labored or you develop congestive heart failure. Why? Because you're in grief, because you've had unrequited love for centuries. No, not on my watch. So let's talk about some of the other stuff. Debilitating conditions, psychosis, all kinds of psychosis, all of the crazies. All of the crazies, that's one of the things I want to remind people. You're not crazy. Now, you might feel crazy at times. You might wonder if you're crazy. What you won't do is be able to hold the crazies. And I would love to get this out to people who really are questioning and wondering because their world flips upside down and sometimes they're at a loss of what to, what steps do you even take first. I have those steps because it is part of Twin Flame Ascension. Addictions. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, I'm going to tell you this. The wounds came first, then came the addiction. Because, and then it became a self-perpetuating or self-fulfilling process many times through the ancestry, through those patterns, because yes, it does, it's a root chakra issue. It runs in the family. It's the root, it's the mind, it's the physical body, it's your entire central nervous system. And guess what? That is what anchors your etheric body. So can you afford to stay addicted or have addictive tendencies? Guess what? Your brand new template balances that for you. If you are craving things, it will find a balance point at some point. And I do talk about that in my classes and in my sessions. How do you balance it? What to do? You don't shame yourself. You get yourself to the point where you are using your new template to right size it for you. Really proportion it for you and your life. Doesn't mean you'll never have vanilla ice cream. Doesn't mean you won't make a toast at someone's wedding with a little bit of champagne. But for the major part of it, addictions are disallowed. Allowed. Not by me, by your soul. Your soul is disallowing things in favor of getting your love back into your life. You don't need to fill the hole. OCD, ADHD, ADD, and all of the other things that might seem to run along the spectrum. What if you love someone, okay? Like I use this example. If you love someone and it was your child and your child was impaired, the love doesn't stop. You'll sit there and say, oh my God, you know, look what my child did today. That's what real love does. You don't focus on the issue. You focus on the individual. Well, this is no different from a soul level. Your own soul, you are focusing on yourself as a whole person that, yeah, maybe you experienced wounds and you got sick and you got knocked down and they chopped you down like a tree until finally you fell because you were that strong. You could stand up to it and get up and rise until finally it's like, call it a day. We are just done with this. Let's just get a new template. We're not going to hold that stuff anymore. Anything on the spectrum, anything on the spectrum of 
mentality. Now, if you love someone, okay, and I see this a lot, there's a fair amount of man bashing. I'm just going to say it like this. Work the problem. In fact, work yourself as an individual. Integrate. That's what starts resolving this. Not phone calls, not looking up on social media, not, you know, raging and ranting about it, but actually doing the integration work through my modality. Rage, resentment. How many people do you know that are rageaholics? How many people are going around just like going off on people? I mean, if you watch the news, you see it happens a lot. In reality, those are, you know, individual people struggling with their emotions and emotional regulation. How would you like a new template that actually does the regulation for you at first? How would you like a template that actually moves you above all that chaos and all those things that make the others who it's accumulated on, they're going off and you're just going like, wow. I missed that day in class or wow, I guess I landed on this planet, but I'm not really from it because I'm not feeling that and I'm not feeling that and let's just go have fun. Hey, let's get the kissing part started. That's even better, right? When you and your other are actually floating above all that stuff that, yeah, is visible and we're going to see it. Not only that, the love that gets infused down there is exactly what helps fix that, okay? Maybe you're fixing someone. Maybe you think you're fixing your man or maybe you think you're fixing your woman. Start with yourself. That's what actually does do that. The integration of the new template. Rage, resentment, wounds, and trauma. So please come and join and experience the liftoff. Learn how to ascend and up level. I am doing a four-part webinar to exactly help you with these things. Learn what the difference is, okay? This is... Something that is very new, but it was planned to be new because it is a new template. When you do this and you learn how to integrate, you sort of skim over. You become like a multidimensional surfer. Your new template naturally wants to heal you. Yes, I am an energy healer. Yes, I'm a teacher, but I also believe in empowering people to, for you to empower yourself to feel intuitively, hey, it feels like I need to fast right now, or hey, it feels like I need to do this or that or hey um I'm having trouble sleeping I think I'll use Patricia's modality to get to the next level of sleep because that's what that's telling me or hey I think I'm intuiting something that I have to do for the next part of the setups of my life and yes that does happen where it works through you and it's you and it's you up here guiding you down here so during my four-part webinar we are going to go over ascension your channels the template with diagrams the proper way to do it, it includes an activation i have a live question and answer session during which i give guidance we talk about a lot of things it's great it's a safe space everyone is on the same page there's a nice synergism to the group no matter who shows up it is already people who are just like you and they are on the journey and they want their new template and they don't want to be foolish about this so they participate or you could sit and listen but it's a safe space and I do a live question and answer session we have discussions we talk about dreams we talk about experiences people share and it was really nice because it makes you feel like you're not alone it's different than a forum it's different than the comments section where the interaction be, can be somewhat limited. It's people just like you going through similar stuff. And not everyone is the same because you're unique. You're a unique little snowflake, as they say. But you'll find out exactly how unique you really are. What are your gifts? What are your skill sets that you're pulling forward? Because that too is a part of your ascension. It is not just ending it with like, well, you ascended and you have to reinvent everything. No, we're not reinventing the wheel. We're putting the parts of the wheel that we have already produced onto your brand new template. That's the customization part. And that's the individuation part of your unified selves. So even people that claim they're in union, sometimes they don't know this stuff because they're not doing it. They're too busy being humans. And yet they will find out that they also need to learn how to commune, learn how to open their channels and get ascended and up level. Now, another huge thing that we do is what I call guidance, where guidance calls comes right through. Would you like to brace the curse of the light worker about your finances? This is a big thing for people. When you start getting your new template, it is understood from a soul level that you need to live, you need to thrive, you need to earn, you need to, you know, maybe do some work that's in alignment with you. Guess what starts happening? You don't carry the old patterns around. 
you start building yourself up, including all the skill sets from your experiences, all of your gifts that can then open and open the doors for you. So do you want to break your financial patterns? Because that's huge. That's a big part of the root stuff. Root issues, finances are a biggie in there. This is proper use of essences and oils. We cover that and prepping you for the intense lion's gate. It's going to be intense. People who are destined to really do this, like I would say in this time frame, you're going to feel some of the intensity. And it's like funneling people. It's like funneling a crowd through a really tight, narrow entrance. You're going to feel a squeeze. You're going to feel pushed. You're going to feel confused. You're going to feel like things are turning upside down and what you thought you knew. Like, let's just calm that down. Join. I hope to see you there. Let me know if you have questions. Yes, I do live one-on-one -on -one sessions. I love doing these webinars because I love the group energy and people bring great questions and we get great answers too. So I hope to see you there. Please check it out on my website, twinflamereconnection.com or type in twinflamesmerge.com. Guess what? We got some news. We're rebranding. So thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you there. Have a great day. Bye.